This is the sound of global warming. High in the Tian Mountains in the far west of China, it's getting louder and louder. So loud, in fact, that it can no longer be ignored. The Urumqi No. 1 glacier is a benchmark for Chinese meteorologists, and it's shrinking by 10 metres per year. This is forcing everyone from scientists and politicians to farmers and city dwellers to sit up and take notice of climate change. In winter, the glacier stores up all the snow and ice, and then in summer, the runoff is vital to meet the needs of millions of people downstream. But because of global warming, it's shrinking. Baha Birkur is a nomad who moves his family and sheep up and down the slopes according to the temperature. They are pitching their summer camp a week earlier than last year and almost a month earlier than five years ago because it's getting so warm. In some ways, it's a relief for him because the winters can be bitter at this altitude. But when he sees the ice melting on the peaks around him, he is also worried. We climb by motorbike to reach the glacier, and our guide tells us how it's changed since his childhood. The glacier is cracking and melting. Now the area of drab grey rock between the two parts is widening as the ice shrinks. We head back down to the base camp, where a scientist at the weather monitoring station tells us the situation has grown more alarming in the past two years. Glacier number five, he says, the one behind him, started melting last year for the first time. There are few places in the world where the cause and effect of global warming are so closely juxtaposed. Less than three hours' drive away is the city of Urumqi, where more than two million people depend on glacier runoff for their drinking supplies. The road down from the mountains takes us past coal-fired power plants and concrete factories belching carbon and sulphur. China, of course, is not solely to blame for global warming. It came very late to industrialization, but today it's the world's biggest emitter of greenhouse gases. The country is trying to rebalance its energy mix. On the outskirts of the city is one of Asia's biggest wind farms, Da Bang Chung. By next year, China is on course to become the world's leading wind energy market, having doubled in size every year since 2005. But the country still relies on coal for 70% of its power. Urumqi is also a centre for the fast-growing petrochemical industry in the west. Pipelines through the desert south of here take oil and gas to the industrial hubs on the east coast. For now, though, in Urumqi, it's festival time. People here still have enough water to play with, but the city's thirst is growing as temperatures rise and the population swells. The question now is how to maintain the environmental balance for future generations.